Good to do. We are on. We are live. It looks like uh, I've not really set this up as usual. I'm not ready at all. Um, I mean, it's, y you can't expect anything more these days from me. I'm right shambles at the moment with Thursday talks. We've got five people in. Welcome if you are in. Whack, uh, whack your uh, name in the chat. Say hello in the chat. Uh, I'll just put away these pencils and stuff. I was just doing a bit of drawing. I was doing a little bit of drawing. Whoop. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I will get going in a second once I've just sorted these out. To be honest, I could probably do with clearing my desk as well because, uh, well, clearing this stuff off here as well because I've got rubber stuff all over my desk. Right. Uh, oh, I need to put that in there. Do 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 just put that over here for now. For now. Ooh. Well, this will have to go on the floor for now. Or ba basically on me. Oh, God, it's all over my keyboard. That is crazy. Uh, there we go. Right. We are in a little bit better position now. That's cool. Oh, God, who's done that? Bloody hell. Extreme um, 1296 played this card. Message Tracy, I hate you. I'll try. I can't promise anything with my nose, Jesus. I don't know. Where's Tracy on it? Do do do. Right, okay. Uh, right. I. Oh, God, it's open pictures now. I. No, that's the. We're going to be all night getting I here. No, that's the. How does it keep going on the? Oh, it's predicted text. No, that's the again. Ah, we got I. We got I. No, that's Q. Oh, no. Right, let's get to I again. Right, okay, we got I. I know I just cheated and used my hand there, but I'm going to have to use my hand for back, back space. Yes, we've got space. No, that's why. Oh, let's use me hand again for backspace. No, that's why. Ah, H. A. Oh, we did two in a row there. T I have. Oh, God. I had. I have. I had. Bugger it, bugger it, bugger it. There's no way we do this. What the hell? I can't even press send. Press send. Get send, god damn you. So, oh, now I've done a voice message. Oh, I've sent the voice message. Oh, God. There we go. I had done. I had done. It's close enough. It's close enough. We'd never get I hate you. It'd take forever. We've got nine people in and no one in the chat. What's going on? Am I... It... One sec. Let me... um. Oh, wait, how do I get onto this? Let me go on YouTube. Is my chat broken on the... Because I wouldn't have thought we'd have no one in the chat if we have nine people watching. That's very unusual if we have... Oh, my God. Extreme 1296. Wow. <laughs> the hair? The hair? What the hell? The hair? Well, okay. Uh, uh. Wait, wait, wait! I can do, I can do better than that. I can do. Ah, 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 ah. Right, okay, there you go. You've got your, you've got your hair chump for the hair chump. Now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it. You've got your chair hump for the day. Hair, hair chump. What is a hair chump? Um. Oh my god, I don't even know. Anyway, let me just check on here. Adds extra. 
see if there's... No, that's saying I'm not live. Oh, no, it is, it is, it is live. Oh, there's loads of people in the chat. What's going on? My chat's not working. Right, I apologise, my live chat isn't working. Hair chump. What is a hair chump? Oh, um, oh my god, I don't even know. Anyway, What's going on here? Add extra. Oh, oh, I know. Sorry, sorry, that's me. Me, me, being, me being a dunce. Right, okay, there we go. Right, sorry, my live chat isn't working, so I'm going to have to go on the actual uh, tab. You've got oh. cards. Extreme 1,296 oh redeemed cards. damn it. Cards. This is Not what it's going to be action. all night, isn't it? Just me changing clothes and stuff. Right, okay. Let me just check in the chat while I'm doing it. Right, so we're, PvP was in uh, first. Michelle's in. Uh, we've got uh, Gimbal in. We've got Chris in. We've obviously got um, Shazad in somewhere. Uh, we've got Trotters into eBay Traders in. We've got Chris in. We've got... Oh, God. What's this again? This is you crazy. You played this card. He never humps the chair when I ask. He never chumps the hair. Oh, oh. Why am I saying hair? It's Shazad. He's got it in my brain. Uh, what do you dislike about me? What? The fact that I never hump the chair when, when you ask? Oh, my God. That's terrible. That's quite a cool shirt. What's this one? Oh, it's a Star Wars one. Yes, I don't look when I put them on in the morning. I just literally grab a shirt and put it on. What would be the point in looking? Then you have to actually think about it. And then that's time that you could have spent doing something else. So, yeah, anyway. So I don't think. I just grab. I don't think. I just grab. <sighs> actually, that could... Take it out of context. That could be very, very bad. I don't think. I just grab. Oh, God. Oh god, that could that could sound terrible. Taking out a card. Oh what? I can't Extreme keep up tonight. Two hundred and ninety-six redeemed this card. I prefer that other top. He always annoys me when he does that bloody rewind when I'm doing the top thing. Oh, it bloody annoys me. I just got me the top on, and then I have to put the other one back on. Oh god. Right then. Here we go. We're back on. We're back on. Right, so I will actually say some hellos and stuff in a second. I was rudely interrupted by Shazad in his cards. Um, so, yeah, I will do some chats in a second. I will, you know, say some hellos. I also need to say, so we've got some orders of business today. What, what's been going on this week and what's happening vis-a-vis uh, -vis reselling and stuff. Cards. Extreme chair, whoa, 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 whoa! You can't chair. just start that using. You can't just start using no other cards just to hump the chair. It's not. You can't do that. Anyway, well, I suppose he did on the other one. What was the other one? I don't remember. Anyway, yeah. Um, I'll do a power pose. I'm not humping it. You just had a chair hump. Bloody had a chair hump. Now that light's a bit funny in the background tonight. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe if I turn this up a bit, maybe that'll help things out when I then sit down. Right, and power pose time. What should we do this week? Um, got the Herculean one. We've got the superiority one. We've got the... Oh, you know what I should do? What I've not done yet? Oh, yeah. I don't do this one. Right. We've got... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, I can. No, you can't. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. Right. Oh, God, right, you can, can only see part of it. Oh, God, oh, oh. Oh, God, come. Oh, right, okay, 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 okay. God damn it. That was close, that was. That was nearly a permanent cramp then for about five minutes. Right, so you can't see my legs, but my legs are up there and I'm, I'm doing this. You know, the, the, office, uh, the office kind of manager pose. Yeah, that's a good pose, that. I quite like that. Yeah, I suppose that is called... I don't know, I think I've heard it called, be, called, be called the the office manager pose before. What did that remind me of then? It brought back a memory that did then, and I, I forgot it. It's gone again. Damn you, anyway. So, yeah, definitely brought back a memory. Right, I'll say hi in the chat now, and then we'll sort about the title and the, the topic and everything. Right then. Uh... Ads needs to get over his pathological... Why does everyone... Everyone puts me in here. No, everyone... Oh, it's so annoying. You know it's not bloody true. It just should add distorting things. Right then. So, zero items on eBay is the topic. Well, yeah. It's not really the topic. It's just, like, a statement. But, 
you know, we can talk about it, it for for a short time period at least. Um, anyway, I realised that we don't really do much eBay stuff on here anymore. It's completely gone. So I thought, well, you know, really we should do a bit. Uniquely me played this card. Why did you voicemail me? Not the words spoken. No, what, where, oh, right, yeah. Um, that was just an ads card. That was Shazad. It was the texture with my nose thing. Um, yeah. And I ended up sending a voice message, so. Yeah, that's all that was. Uh, who have we got in it? Who else have we got in Oh, I think that's everyone. I don't think there's anyone else in. I don't think so, no, cool. Oh, no, wait, sorry, it's, it's jumped again. We've got Tracy in. We've got um, Lucy in. Uh, we've got Money Mental in. We've got Susie in. Sorry, it's completely jumped then. Uh, and that's, I think that's it. Cool. So, uh, do, 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 where are we now? Oh no, he can't see us. <laughs> Say what you like, time. Say what you like, time. I don't know what that is. Anyway, do, do, do. Thank you, Shazad. Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, dude, stop the cards tonight. Card. No, the no. Like the stop the cards. Oh, God, damn it, damn it. Can we not have one bloody week without the cards? <laughs> Jesus, if there was any week I didn't want the cards, it was this week. Right, okay. Because I just can't be bothered. I just, I, I'm, I'm honest, I just can't be bothered. Just, right. And if that means everyone's going to send them me tonight. Right. Buck, 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 buck. Told you it's the not being fit thing. Oh, and I'm really not fit this week because I had burgers and pizzas and everything at the start of the week. So you see, I'm meant to be getting fit, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing it, am I? I'm not doing it. We need to start an intervention or a petition or something to get me fit. Right. Uh, I leaving work. I'll be back soon. Ads might regret not following my instructions. Oh god, <laughs> bloody hell! No, he's not. What, what card has he got? What card has he got? He's clucking mad. Oh my god. Hey, that's quite a good joke as well. Um, uh, why did I put Z? Oh, I don't know what that's about. Lol, nice one, Z. Uh, did he just eat eat an egg? Did he just do an egg? Okay, I don't know. No, I, 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 I wasn't doing an egg. That's not what I was doing. Ads is way too good at being a chicken. Well, thank you, but I thought the uh, last bit tailed off, off a little bit, but still. Right, who have, we, who have we got in now? Also, if you got any questions, you know, as always, throw them in the chat. Uh, we are 17 watching. We only started a few minutes ago. Bloody hell, that's gone up quick. I think the most we've had on this channel, on the new channel, is... Was it 21 or 23? 21 or 23. Uh, one of the two. Question, adds, how many teeth do chicken have? Um... Uh, zero? I, I had to think about that. Zero? It is zero, right? Like, because just the beak. Just the beak. I don't think there's any teeth. You've got ads cards. Mm. Lucy16666 redeemed this card. Impression, Impression of Andrew, Andrew falling over. over. I don't know. I've not seen it. The only time I saw Andrew fall over was that Mickey Mouse thing where he went like... You've got ads well, cards. Well, I don't even know whether it was on the... So, oh. Amalek redeemed this card in the style of dance hall. What, what's dance up? Someone's going, oh, I'm going to have to Google that. Right, okay, let me do the Andrew impression first. Too many ads cards tonight. Right. Now, I don't know, I, I don't even know how to do this impression because I don't know what he's like, but I imagine he's going to be walking like this and then I go, whoa! <laughs> and then almost hit his head on the wardrobe or something like that. I can't see him being like, uh, I can just imagine him being quite dramatised with it, you know. <laughs> And then going down. <laughs> and he'd probably do that. He'd probably go. He would probably go like, whoa! <laughs> like that. 
he definitely say whoa or something like that. Oh, God, I could, I could see that happening so much. Anyway, I don't know what Dan Thought is, so we're going to have to YouTube that. Um, oh, right. Do, 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 do. So, yes, uh, referring to the topic, well, not the topic, but just the title of this video. Um, I haven't got any items on eBay now. We are done. If you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, I think it's a link down below. Let me, oh, God. Double check all these things. Let's see. There is a link down below. It's ads. Well, well, there's not a link down below, but there's just my handle down below. Let me just put it in the chat here if you aren't. But probably all of you will be. But that's my Instagram handle, at adswobbo96. Uh, and I've been, you know, I do quite a few stories on there and stuff. And I did, uh, I did put that on there. I put on, it said active zero. It was crazy. Right, dance hall. What's what's dance hall? Oh, is it like a genre of music? Oh, oh god. Oh, it's cuz so Wow, that. Wait, let me let me do it. I've got that thing on there. What's he doing milking a cow? Jesus! Ding 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 Oh crap, there's another card. Oh crap, go in. No, no, I'm gonna lose it. Oh right, thank god, I thought I, I thought I was gonna lose the card then. Thank you very much, uh, Susie, for the purchase there. I thought I was gonna lose the card there, but I was okay. Bloody hell, this is brilliant this, isn't it? I hope it's the right thing, it probably is. Right then, let me go back. Oh god, I'm moving my camera forever today. Right, there we go. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, hey, uh, what did you do? God, that chat's gone slow. It, it didn't jump then, that was weird. Um, we need a card trading option. How do you mean? Let me know and maybe I can sort something out. You mean like a trade... A, a, so you trade it for another card or something like that. So say you buy a pack and then you get, I don't know, some co random common cards. You can then trade them for the cards. Or we could even, well, I don't know whether we can do this. I don't even know whether this is an option. But maybe let's say you had five commons, like five commons or three commons equal a rare. And then you can trade them for a rare. Oh, that'd be so cool. But I don't even think the platform allows you to do that. But saying that, could, is there a way to do it between... I could suggest that, though, to the platform. Because that would be a brilliant idea. That would be absolutely brilliant. Trade the crap card for the dancing monkey card. You know? <laughs> that would be pretty good. It's the OG card, though, that, isn't it? Every, everyone, you know, everyone knows it. Who's been here from the start, start of the ads card, knows that card. Although, saying that, we've only done the ads card for, what, six months or so? How long has it been now? Let me double check. I don't know. Oh no, not another one. In the hope with the play, this card work out. It's raining men by weather girls, no mute. Finally we can have the no mute on. God. I can have the no mute on as well. Well, until this channel gets to a thousand subscribers, which maybe never, so we're we're actually okay. We might always have uh, 
which uh, means that I might always be able to have it on no mute because I'm not monetized anyway. Uh, it's raining men. It's you know this will start turning into a dance stream where, <laughs> where people are just putting requests for songs to for me to dance to. Oh God, bloody hell! It's raining men. Hallelujah! It's raining men, which I don't mind doing. I love a bit of dancing. It's raining men. Am I in the? I don't know the words, by the way, so I'll just, um, I'll screw up the words. You. you. Better listen. That is, isn't it? Bloody hell. Yeah, I don't have that one on my iPod, I don't think. I don't know. I never really used to like it, but you get into these things again, don't you? You come back around. Right then, here we go. Intervention for me to get fit again, because... God, I, I, I've been dancing for two minutes. Like, out of proper, out of breath. Right then, um... We really need to, we need to start an intervention. I need to get fitter. Oh no, I'm not even, you're not even on me because I keep forgetting to put that area like that's better. We need to start an intervention because I really need to get fitter. Oh God. I can see Hads having a great career as a dancer slash stripper. Stuff that G string. No, I'm not being, no, I'm not doing that. You know, I just, I uh, can't be bothered doing that. He didn't really set up his customer and ask if they have a nice evening. Whoa, 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 whoa. People don't want the small talk. We want the action. We want to get straight on with it. We don't want all this, oh, how is a nice evening, sir? Like, if you go to a strip, strip club, right, you can ask any man, man this. We don't want the woman, as, as bad as it sounds, but we don't want the woman to say, Oh, hi there, sir. How's your evening? No, no, no. They want to get straight down to the action. I mean, it's just that's how a man is. Oh, well, that's how most men are. Not all men, but most men. So, you know, that's just kind of how it is. So I don't waste people's time by saying, you know, if I was a stripper, a male stripper, I wouldn't waste it. Well, actually, you no, know, because a woman would want to would want me to ask how the evening's going because men and women are different in that respect but because they like the emotionality of it all and all the rest of it but anyway so it, yeah i digress but you know we yeah I, I just like to get into it right then i like a good chat with the, oh there you go let's see not all men are like that andrew obviously wants a good chat i want to try and charm her okay well there you go there you go i stand corrected um does the uni have a talent contest uh, a talent contest? Probably. I, I do not know. But we, we will get on to that topic in a minute. 
because I did go to the uni this, uh, this week, as I mentioned. So I went into the halls and all that. Well, I didn't actually go into the building because you weren't allowed into the building. Um, but I went around the complex and explored it from the outside. So we will touch on that in a minute. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, I will just have a look up the chat first off. Did he skip a lap dance by chance? Or I'm, I'm, I'm imagining that. Why? Who did a who did a lap dance? Who, who requested a lap dance? This is, I swear this is just, this show is basically just some sort of pornographic entertainment at this point. Like people just come here, buy the cards. I'm literally whoring myself out. Oh god! Oh god! I just realised. I just had that weird revelation. I'm like, I'm like a 21st century virtual stripper. Oh my god. That's mental. Well, oh well, someone's got to do it. So, uh, let me go up here. Oh, Georgina was in as well. Sorry, Georgina, if I didn't say hi. I did see your name. It's just been loads of different ads cards going off. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know whether... Who, oh, uh, what did you do with your items Charity shop them or big auctions. Yeah, we'll talk about the zero items on eBay thing because I've only really touched upon that briefly. So, zero items on eBay. I haven't got rid of all my items yet. What I've done is I've pulled them all off eBay. I'm going to be doing a car boot next weekend. I've got someone coming round as well to basically take off me a load of ceramics. And I'm probably going to keep some bits behind, go to university, and when I come back in uh, at Christmas... I'll probably attack it again and do a bit more on it. But there's just no way I would be able to get rid of everything. There will be bits going... There will be... A, well, I say a lot. I don't know how much, actually. But there will be a bit going to the charity shops as well. So by September, when I have to go, I probably won't have that much to deal with. Um, but yeah, I thought, good idea. Just take them all off now. It's getting to the point where I actually need to be working more on uni than anything else. I've been doing uni work practically all today, getting the stuff sorted, getting things that I'm taking sorted. Um, I'm, I'm focusing as well on chatting to people if I can, the, my new flatmates and stuff like that, getting to know them. Um, I'm, I've got my finances to do at the weekend. I've got my accounting for my business to do at the weekend. Da -da -da -da, you know, all this sort of stuff. I, I could go on. But um, yeah, so I'm trying to focus on the uni mainly. So I thought, right, let's take them off and, and let's get them job, lock, job like lighted that. up. Uh, while listening, I have to quit. Oh yeah, that, we've not had that card yet. That's sick. We've not had the card quickly tied up my room. Um, Wipeout, what's... Wipeout, is it a song? A Wipeout song. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Safaris. I've never... Safaris. Sa 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 oh, God. Safaris. It's something like that. Uh, right, so I'll do that in just a second. So, yeah, I've just... Yeah, get them all off. Job lot them off to people. Uh, charity shops. Car boot. That sort of stuff. Get as much out as possible. And it would it would have been brilliant to have the shed back, like... To have it sorted and no items in there by the time I went. But I just don't think I'm going to get there. So I think there will be stuff left. And I think that when I come back at Christmas, I'll have a bit of work to do with that. Um, but that's the way it goes. But by next year, I think I'll be able to have a good space for myself. And also uh, still have a bit of a space here for my reselling. Um, but also have a bit of space for YouTube and a bit of space for other stuff. So... It's a slow process. I'm not spending much time working on YouTube at the moment, which is a shame. I just can't do it at the moment. I probably won't be able to for a month or so. I might be able to do one video for my main channel or something, but that's probably all I'm going to get. Um, yeah, so it, that's a shame. But at the end, on the other side of it, I don't really have that much motivation for my main channel at the moment. I don't know why. I suppose I'll just do this on here on my second channel on a Thursday, and then, I don't know, I suppose that satisfies me in a way, um, but yeah, so, uh, loads going on, it'll be, it'll get rectified, it'll get sorted, come soon, but we're in a very weird time period at the moment, um, which means, uh, yeah, everything's just up in the air, and everything's all weird and, and chaotic, basically, but, um, it'll be cool because it's a it's a good means to an end. It's a means to a goal, which is always good. And uh, yeah, so that's cool. Anyway, I'll do this. I'll clean my room. To be honest, I don't know what I've got to clean because I've actually cleaned a bit of it today. But anyway, so we'll do that. 
Oh god, what's this song, dude? Oh my god, what's this song? What the hell? What the hell is this song? Well, I'll put this, I'll put these in the bin. Oh, right, is it a fast one? Oh, are we doing a fast one? Workout. That'll do. Woo. That's a good song in it, man. That's so cool. Right then, where are we? There you go, you got your intervention about me getting fit. I've not done that weights in ages. Wipeout, yeah, workout. Um hope this isn't copyright. Oh it don't matter. I'm not oh god, see what I mean? Oh god. Oh god, I'm so not fit. This is so bad. You don't understand. This is so bad. I am so not fit. Right. So, uh, what matter if it's not monetized? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's not monetized. So I'm I'm not monetized on this channel. So it it's cool. Uh, yeah, you can just basically if you don't monetize something, you can just do well. You can't do what you want. You can't. There are certain rules, but you can basically do what you want. You're just close to doing what you want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, well done ads want another song. Oh my god. I told you this is gonna start um, this is gonna turn into a, um, a a Singing dancing show best way hope the person buying the pottery gives it. Yeah, definitely. I hope hopefully they'll give a pretty decent price Ads you could strip on weekends to earn it. No, no God, no, I'm not stripping on weekends. Bloody hell. Oh god uh, Not many times. Yeah, 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 so worth it even if, even if he has to take it down, still with it. Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose so. Um, right, I think I think that's everything. So, did I talk about the uni? I kind of did t touch upon the uni, but you know, I didn't really t touch upon going uh, to Bangor anyway. Oh, there's a load of dust. Oh, that'll be that rubber stuff. Oh God, that'll be that rubber stuff. I'm just saying. What's that? I'm just saying that when. You lap danced all over Z. Lap danced all over Z. There's something that just doesn't doesn't sit right with me <laughs> that, with that sentence. You were concerned about if he had a good evening. Well, 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 well you know. Maybe it, maybe I'm more considerate than I think. I don't know. Um, ads dance workout new series. Oh God, I don't know. What. Could you imagine that? A, a little pre-recorded video, ten minutes. Right, come on, then, lads. I could get me a little um, mankini on. Right, come on then lads, let's do this. God. Oh god. That could be something for at uni, you know. That actually could be. That could be a Oh no, I don't have oh, I don't have the weights at uni. I'm not gonna take my weights because I'm on the second floor. I don't really want the weight on the floor because I'm already Hey I said floor twice then. Cause I'm already taking quite a lot of stuff. 
uh, and the books are going to weigh quite a lot so i don't really want to put too much weight on the floorboards and all that there um i tell you what it's, it's a crazy thing this going to uni because oh god you go through what you think you need and what you what you think you need and what you actually need are two different things what you think you need is just a few bits right oh probably a box or a box and a half or maybe two boxes right you know like reasonably sized boxes or whatever but it's not that it's like you've got your clothes you're like, i've got like a suitcase full of clothes because uh, obviously i'm staying there aren't i so i've got a suitcase full of clothes i've got like two boxes of stuff all toiletries and all um oh you know all my cookery stuff and all um what else have i got i've got books i've got uh bedding i've got toilet uh, did i say toiletries well toiletries and um what do you call it? Cleaning products and all that sort of stuff. So, oh god, I just got my laptop as well. I've got. I'm, I'm going to take this printer. These aren't even in the other room. The other room is is full of stuff, and these aren't even in there. And I've still, I've still got stuff in here that I need. It's crazy, and uh, I can't take all my books. So, basically, I've got about four or five boxes worth of books. So I've, I've condensed that down to about a box. So I'm taking a box of books. Um, so yeah, there's a lot. So, and I, and I still, I still think it's too much. I still think, oh, I'm gonna get there, and it's gonna just be, yeah, it's gonna be too much. But then, when I go through it, like I've been through it today, when I go through it, I think to myself, I need all this. There's literally nothing that I feel that I don't need. I mean, yeah, could I take a few less books? Probably, but it's always good to have the books there for references and stuff but that would probably be the only thing i could could cut and it wouldn't hurt me to cut it essentially but obviously all the toiletries cleaning products bedding laptop printer all that sort of stuff you know you need so yeah god it's crazy it is uh the two different things really um i don't know if anyone's been to uni in the chat which m many of you may have been uh, what did you take? Did you find you needed more or did you find you needed less? Because I know for some people, uh, they may just take like bare bones of stuff. I mean, there, there is this kind of thought in my mind of, oh, maybe I don't need to take any pans or anything. Now, now, I have got the bare minimum of pans and cutlery, absolute bare minimum. But maybe I don't need to take any pans. Obviously, I need to take cutlery. But maybe I don't need to take pans if the others have got them and we're sharing them and all that sort of stuff. So... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's things that I could potentially query. Um, but, yeah, you, you do have to take more than you think. It is more than you think, really. Uh, right, then. Uh, oh, so, um, yeah, so this week, anyway, uh, went to Landudno and went to Bangor, obviously. Uh, let me just... Oh yeah, I'm already on. I thought I thought the uh, webcam was was up too high again. So yeah, I went to Landudno and went to Bangor. Went obviously around Landudno, around the shops, all that sort of stuff, which is really cool. Weather was pretty good uh, on the maybe on the Tuesday. It was quite good. Is it Tuesday? It was quite good. You got I think it was cats. Tuesday. It was quite good. Lucy Watch Boro. Six for the this card. Watch Boro Pat on YouTube. Oh Warning: Swears a lot amused. Boro Pat. Boro Pat. Boro Pat. I think this is it. Meh, meh, fucking meow. Oh, God, sugar. Uh, here we go. First stop, Emily. Meow. Walk it up. I'm not fucking eBay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's this? It's like an eBay guy. The hell? <laughs> what?
We're meant to be a family-friendly channel after all. <laughs> well, we're not anymore. So, uh, yeah, so uh, I don't know what I was saying before. Oh, yeah, 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 the uni stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think it was a nice day Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday. And we went to Bangor on Tuesday. Land on no Monday. Banger day trip on Tuesday. Day trip to Banger. Hang on a second. Uh, we'll get that song on. Going on a day trip. Didn't we have a lovely time? And <laughs> then trip to Banger on to Banger. Uh, fiddler's drum. It's not a very good song, to be honest. It's very, like, uh... I don't know, it's very uh, hippie-ish in a way as well. Actually, what, what was it? Oh, it's 1980, it wasn't the 60s. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, she's very animated on, uh, on, on a voice there, on a face there when she was doing that. She was like, and we opened a bottle of cider and her eyes were really wide. That's crazy. Yeah, so if, uh, if you want to listen to that, it's Fiddler's Dram. Day trip to Bangor, 1980. Um, a funny thing with that, actually. So my friend's dad um, was in summer when I was around there. Well, I say in summer, probably about a month ago. Well, we were in summer now, so probably about a month ago. Would sing this song, right? And uh, we're in the garden, and he'd be walking across the garden, and he'd be going, didn't we have a lovely time? And I was, and I was like, what, what's, what's he singing that for? I don't even get it right. And he never told me what it was in reference to, because obviously he knew I was going to Bangor and all the rest of it. Um, and he never told me it was to do a banger. And he just kept saying this, didn't we have a lovely time? And then anyway, so it stuck in my brain, obviously over a few times, over a few days of him saying it. And uh, I didn't really think anything more of it. I just thought, oh, it's just a song in it. It's, got, it's, it's an ear, earworm or whatever you call it. So anyway, we're driving to Bangor and my dad's there going... Didn't we have a lovely time? And I was like, hang on, that's that song. And then I asked him and he was like, yeah, it's a song. It's like a day trip to Bangor or whatever it's called. So anyway, I Google it and I get the song, but it's funny that. Um, yeah, so anyway, we went to Bangor uh, and then had a day trip there. And then on uh, yesterday we were at Landudno again. Because we'd stayed at Landudno, just had a bit of day trip at Lam uh, to Bangor on the Tuesday. So went down there, uh, went down to the halls first. I had a nice little round of the hall. In fact, I got some photos. I, prob I probably got some photos. I did quite a few on uh, Snapchat, actually. So we don't. We, I don't think we save on Snapchat. But um, well, there you go. There's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how well you're going to see that on the uh, thingy. So uh, there, there. Oh yeah, you can see that pretty good. There's me outside one of the halls. Um, so that's what the halls are going to look like. Uh, God knows where that is. I think that's at one of the one of the hall buildings. You probably can't see it that well. I apologise. But yeah, that's one of the hall buildings. Um, let me. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I really got that many pictures. Oh, I got a video. That's one of the hall bu hall buildings. That's my one. That's you. That's my one. Yeah. That's uh, Frau. That's Frau. I don't think I think that's about it for the video. Is that about it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there isn't anything else. And there's me stood outside uh, the one I'm going to be staying at. Frau, uh, it's F F R A W, but I've uh, been informed that you pronounce it Frau, not Four. That is the bar uh, in the in the campus in the university campus, Bar Uno. Um, I think that's Spanish for Bar One. Although I can't be sure. That's another one of the halls. Don't know why I took a random photo of one of these other halls. Uh, and then the other photos were on... Oh, no, I've got a photo of... A very crap photo of the football field there. Um, but I think the other photos were on... Um, uh, what do you call it? Snapchat, so we don't save. Oh, I've got a photo of the shop. There you go. The Siop or the Sop or... I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm not Welsh. Sop. Siop. And the shop is just opposite my hall, basically. Or, well, my hall's like there, and then it's just to the side a bit, and then opposite, basically. Uh, sort of diagonal, diagonal from my hall. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool there. Uh, and then we went on into Bangor and had a scout out. Scout out for all the usual things. The supermarket, the club, 
the charity shops, obviously the charity shops. There is, oh yeah, people will want to know this. There is like 12 charity shops in Bangor. There's like 10 or 12. Well, it said on Google there was 15. Um, but when I went down there, I could only see about 10 to 12. I didn't do an exact count, but it was about 10 to 12. Certainly over 10. Um, so yeah, I, I was, that's pretty good. The, possibly there's a couple of junk shops there. And obviously, whether you're including them in charity shops is... Well, I don't know. Some people might, some people might not. Um, but yeah, so that was cool. So I managed to uh, scout a few of them. I did go in a few. Uh, I, I was thinking of kind of buying, but then again, I kind of shouldn't be buying quite yet. Um, but I didn't really see anything that suitable. The only thing I saw that was suitable was a couple of pairs of brass candlesticks, which were actually a reasonable price. They're a normal sort of normal size one, probably get like 15, 10, 12 to 15 quid, although saying that, I've not sold any in a while, so I'd have to double check on eBay. Um, and they were two quid each, two quid for, for, for each set. So I possibly could have got them. Um, but I want to kind of move away when I go to university I want to kind of move away from brass and antiques and get back to toys a little bit more um, So yeah, uh, I just didn't pick those up if there was any um, If there was any kind of small sealed DVDs or anything small I would have picked that up because when I get to Bangor Obviously, I've only got limited space in my room, as I've mentioned, and I really want to keep to small items, jiffy bag items if I can, because the reason with the jiffy bag items is I'm conscious of time. So I'll have YouTube to do, I'll have a bit of reselling to do, I'll have um, the course to do, I'll have socialising, and I really do want to make good use of socialising, and within socialising as kind of a sub-branch of that, I, will, I want to get involved with a couple of clubs or societies. So you can see there, it fills up, your time fills up very, very quickly. Um, and then with other things I want to do, for example, reading, walking. I want to get back in, I was doing a bit of drawing then, as you know, so uh, as you saw at the beginning. So I want to get into a bit of drawing again. You know, it's like, you can, you can see it's like expanding out and you're like, bloody hell, I've got about 10, 10 different hobbies or 10 different things in all I want to do. So yeah, I want to keep the reselling stuff very, very streamlined, you know, Easy to list items, small items, so we can just get packed in a jiffy bag quick. Go down to the post box. Actually, I scouted out a couple of post boxes. I scouted out the post office as well. Uh, go down to the post office or the post box uh, whenever I'm going into town. Uh, maybe I'm going for a look around the charity shop or something, so I can do that on the same day. Um, yeah, so I want to streamline it. I want to get some good routine going there. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to make sure I do. Uh, when I get there, and then that means I can still keep up with everything, I can still do everything that I want to do, and have some cool social time as well, so uh, yeah, it was good, it was really, uh, it, it was much nicer than I thought, the reason I say that is because I was a little bit concerned when I looked on, um, only mildly, but when I looked on uh, Google Street View, or what, is it Street View, I think it is Street View, um, though it's some of the well, actually, it's not a town, it's a city. But some of the city was a bit run down and all the rest of it. And I thought, mm, maybe... I just thought, oh, God, I hope it's not all like that. Maybe it is all like that, you know. But anyway, when I went there, the, the main high street is absolutely brilliant. It's fine. It's uh, pretty modern as well. Um, but just at the tail ends of the high street, you've got a bit of a run-down area, which isn't incredibly nice. But it's not really, really run down. Because the brilliant thing with... A place like Bangor is you have the scenery around it and you have the beautiful stone buildings and stuff so even though parts of it are run down it's not run down in a terrible sense because you've got that kind of nice uh, contrast of the uh, of the scenery and the stone buildings and all that so it, yeah it wasn't too bad and uh, the building the university building and I'll check in the chat in a second by the way the university building is incredible i did do a story on instagram oh i didn't get a photo of the i did a story on instagram but the story will be gone now um but no i didn't get a photo on here of the building but the building i mean you can google it anyway Bangor university building it's like an 18th set no not sorry not 18th set seven uh, not 17th going the wrong way 19th century building i believe um and it's absolutely beautiful it looks like a huge cathedral um 
and yeah, it's an incredible building. If you, as I say, if you're following my, me on Instagram, you will have seen all that as I was actually there, kind of live. Um, but yeah, so it, yeah, but absolutely brilliant. Couldn't really fault it. Um, the only things that would have been nice to do if I was on an official open day, which I wasn't, but if I was on an official open day, it would have been brilliant to obviously see inside the uni and see inside the halls. Um, but saying that, I did have a cheeky look through one of the windows of one of the hall buildings anyway, just to check out what a room looks like. And, uh, you know, that's pr practically as good as going in there. Um, so, yeah, I saw it, saw the layout. Um, and it seemed, you know, I mean, obviously the rooms are small. They are small. But... Um, when I actually looked through the window, I was actually, I wouldn't say pleasantly surprised, but I was a little bit surprised in a positive way um, that, you know, maybe it's maybe it's a smidge, a little smidge bigger than I thought it might be. Um, but, you know, it, it's really, the, the room is just a base, to be honest. Um, obviously, I will be in there working and stuff a little bit, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to spend tons and tons of time in there. I will be socialising with people in the kitchen, in their rooms. I'll be going out for all sorts of reasons as well uh, during the day. I'll be going to lectures and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it kind of is in a way a sort of a little base. And it doesn't mean it need to be anything really, really lavish or anything like that. So, yeah, it's quite, quite nice to see. So, anyway, I'll check the chat now, uh, see what's going on here. Uh, ads, new theme song. Why? What's the... What's going on in here? What do you mean, themes? Oh, God, not that bloody shit, that swearing show. Bloody hell, yeah, I tell you, that was, uh, that was crazy. Uh, I will come and visit, that's another person who's come and visit. You know what I have had about bloody, I don't even know, I must have had eight or nine people now say, oh, I'll come and visit, yeah, and I'm very grateful for everyone saying they'll come and visit, and of course... Uh, obviously the people who have said and have confirmed it with me and everything, not anyone, no one, not just anyone can turn up, but uh, if you message me and have confirmed it with me and everything and you you obviously know me as well, um, then, yeah, um, I uh, it'll be great to meet up and stuff. Uh, the only cards. thing with the... Oh. Shazad after he has defeated you with end of string. Defeat. Oh, okay, okay. Right, so he's like, I can imagine it's like this. Yes. Yes! Yes! That's his cat, by the way. Come here, little pussy, I want to stroke you. Know, that's, oh, that sounds bad. Right, okay, okay, okay. Took it too, too far, then, right. So, um, yeah. So, uh, forgot what I was saying again there. Um, but yeah, I haven't, so, I, oh yeah, that's what I need to say. But I will have to talk to you about that, Andrew, because with the whole COVID situation, I don't know what the um, rules are with coming into the halls and stuff like that. We're probably going to have to meet in Bangor, uh, you know, in the, in the city rather than in the halls or anything. I've had to say that to Ryan as well. I've had to say that to a few people who have said to me, you know, oh, I'll come up, I'll come up, um, just so that then... Um, we're above board with that sort of stuff and we're respecting other people and stuff. It's a bit of a shame, um, but, yeah, it's probably going to be, be that way. I've not checked at the university yet what the rules are. I am getting a welcome pack, I believe, in a few days, and that might be in there. It possibly will be the visiting kind of arrangements and what we've got with that. Um, yeah, so... Uh, it'll be it'll be really good, but I've got I'll, I'll probably end up for the first few weeks or the first few months or whatever. I'll end up almost every week having someone come because uh, I've got uh, Daniel coming, Ryan coming, Janet and Ken coming. My grandma and granddad will probably come up at some point. Uh, probably not early on though. My mum and dad coming up. Uh, potentially you, Andrew. Maybe my auntie. Um, and I think there's one or two other people. I want to say there was one of one or two other people. My mum and dad might bring you my grandma and gra uh, oh god. Uniquely, me redeemed this card. Why men need ball sacks? Oh god, I don't know. I haven't a clue on that. But yeah, so um. Also, I think my mum and dad might because my granddad, my other granddad, not the grandma granddad I said a minute ago, but my other gran granddad doesn't drive anymore. But my mum and dad might bring them up at some point. I don't know. So I've got yeah, loads of people coming up. Um. But, 
Yeah, so why do men have ball sacks? I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Isn't the human anatomy just bloody weird when you think... Like, really, think about this. Think about it. Like, really think about it. The human anatomy. Like, you know what I mean? It's like a washing machine of weirdness. It's like the weirdest thing. You think, so all these weird bits and bobs that I've got going on inside of me produce this consciousness, produce the ability to, for me to feel, for me to understand, for me to partake in the world as an expression of something, of some sort of consciousness that um, is potentially collective or universal, or it might just be individual. But we are partaking from that physiology, from those genes, from that DNA, from those cells, from those tissues, from those organs, from those systems from those, uh, yeah, systems, yeah, that's the right word, uh, there isn't anything, is the system level the top level? No, I think there's another, t oh, organism, organismal level, yeah, anyway, so, uh, that produce the organ, uh, organism as a whole, anyway, so, um, yeah, it is weird, it is weird, and uh, you think, why is it? That that can produce all those things. And I've looked upon this in vast detail, as everyone would suspect I have. Because I think to myself, hang on a minute, right? And this is really weird, this, when you think about this, right? So, I think to myself, right, I'm complaining that I uh, have, let's say, a default to a certain organ, or a certain bone, or a certain structure. Well, let's say organ, because it's, it's a better example to go with that. So you're there complete. oh, why do I have that bloody default with this, you know, da 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 Say, let, let's say you're a person who has uh, something wrong with the heart, right? Or something wrong with the spleen, or the this, or the that, or whatever. And you're there complaining, oh, why do I have something wrong with my bloody fleeing? Why do, you know, all this sort of stuff. And you get complaining and you get depressed and you get annoyed about it and all that. And maybe rightly so, maybe you should be. We don't know. We don't really have enough information for that. But you're there. But then you start to think, but hang on. Isn't it because of the, all of the organs, organs functioning together, working together as a whole to create the consciousness that then I can complain about those organs? Isn't that weird? Like, so you can complain about your heart not working properly or having a heart defect, but you can only complain about that by all of the organs, including your heart, working together to then obviously mean that you have the consciousness to be able to complain about it. And then you think, bloody hell, isn't that really weird? And you're like, well, can we take that further? Can we say that... It's actually, there isn't any personality. Personality is a, is a facade that we think we are, right? And I'm not just talking about some sort of Hindu divine play idea or anything like that here. Personality is the sum, and, and this is really bizarre. Personality is the sum and the conscious expression of the sub-personalities of all of your organs. Now, yeah, in a rationalistic viewpoint, a scientific viewpoint, that's like complete nonsense. But let's think imaginatively and openly here, and, and let's imagine the world as this weird, wacky place with weird things with random heads and tails and stuff, and weird creatures that walk about on all fours and stuff. Oh, wait, that is our planet, you see? So our planet is weird. Anyway... I mean, you think you go to an alien planet and you see something with two heads and a big weird squiggly thing out the back. You think, oh God, that's really weird. That's odd. That's different. That's unique. But just think about it in terms of if you were an alien coming to our planet, you would think this is all weird. So we are the weirdness. We are the weird creatures. So imagine that every word I say, everything I, I every intention I kind of display is made up from... Um, the, the kind of the sub-personalities of my organs. Now, of course, we know the organs are unique in a sense. So, for example, just like a flower is unique or a snowflake is unique, you know, yeah, every single snowflake is different, right? Every single flower grows in a slightly different way or ha maybe one has subtly more colour or one has slightly slightly more petals or a different 
angle of growth. There may be only very, very subtle differences, but they're slightly different. We can see this, of course, in like fingerprints. So, you know, we all have different fingerprints and stuff. Um, so all of our organs inside are just subtly, they all perform the same functions, but they're very, very subtly different because they are organic of nature and therefore imperfect and also kind of, uh, they have these kind of subtle natural differences. Um, like the snowflake or like the flower, they just grow very, very, very subtly different, just like the brain is unique, everyone's brain is unique. I'm reading a uh, neuroscience book at the moment that explains that, which is very interesting. Um, but yeah, so imagine that, that our unique personalities are an expression of those organs functioning together and those organs themselves have sub-personalities. Now, this is simple conjecture, I don't actually believe in this, this is just a um, an idea, you know, that I had and I thought, oh, I quite like that idea. What I actually believe is the brain is the main idea. So, for example, everyone's brain is unique and therefore it's the uniqueness of everyone's brain that then creates their personality, not necessarily the subpersonality of the organs. But it's interesting to think that way and, and have a little bit of imagination in that way and a little bit of irrationality that, that is creative and that's fun and that's different. Um, but it is bizarre to think that you only gain the ability to complain about your situation by those organs that you seemingly have hate towards one of them because it's not functioning properly, for example, if it wasn't, you only have that ability by all those organs being there and working exactly as they are right at that moment. And then you think, well, surely I shouldn't complain because what I'm doing is, let's say you have something wrong with your spleen and you're complaining about your spleen, imagine at that moment, and I know this sounds bizarre, but imagine at, this mo at that moment that it is your spleen complaining about itself. Imagine that the subpersonality is working within you from the spleen, right, and you are saying, oh, I've got this horrible problem with the spleen, I wish it would go to hell, I wish it would, but then imagine that that was the spleen talking. And then it's an, uh, a reductio ad absurdum, it's a reduction to absurdity because you think, well hang on a minute, if the spleen is complaining about itself, then it's like, what's the point in that? Like, it, it, it shouldn't complain about itself, it's just, it is how it is. And that brings us to the idea that it's complete stupidity to, to start, you know, doing this at yourself, you know, you no need to hate yourself or disdain yourself. People do because they can't help it. It's just, it's a, it's an automatic process. We all berate ourselves in a way um, a lot of the time, but there's no need to because it's like, it's a reductio ad absurdum in a way. I mean, you can look at it in that way. Of course, you can look at it in another way and you can say, well, no, actually, it's completely rational to think ill of yourself or to scorn yourself or to uh, think less of yourself or whatever. But, you know, you've, it's, there's all these different ways of looking at things and, and I, I like to choose to look at things in, in slightly more positive ways and slightly different ways as well, unique ways, because it's fun! That's what it's all about! It's about fun, you know? And yes, okay, we'll have the argument from some people of maybe some personality type or maybe they've had some cert certain experiences in the past they'll come at me and they'll say, no, 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 no. It's not about fun, it's about being serious and it's about getting work done, it's about doing all this. Brilliant, because that's what it's about as well. It's about a combination of all the things. It's about a bit of fun, a bit of seriousness, a bit of having a laugh, a bit of working here and there, um, a bit of enjoying what you're doing, even being silly about your seriousness or seriously silly about what you're doing. So, although probably not best to do that in a court of law, but you know, you, you, you get the point. So, yeah, that, that'll, do, that'll do for today's weird, odd, kind of philosophical rant. I don't even know what that was. Anyway, uh, let me go. Has he gone off on one? I have, but it's been a bloody long time since I've gone off on one, so that's pretty decent. Only ads could answer the question about ball sacks with philosophy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I do it. I'm sorry. I don't know how I do it. I haven't. I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. I just. I go into this realm. Of, it's like I go in deep within. I go deep within, and then it, something pulls out. It's like a little fish. Imagine like a little fish. Oh look, there's a little fish there now. Like there's. Imagine there's a little fish in your mind. It's swimming through this little pond, 
and then suddenly this guy like with a pitchfork grabs it and imagine that fish is an idea cards. and that's you that's what i do this card i don't like your hair this way oh right okay yeah but imagine this fish is like this is an idea and then you've got this guy with a pitchfork and he grabs this idea and pulls it out of the water and that guy's me well killing a fish but it's not it's just a metaphor um yeah, this idea, and, and, and then you get the idea, and then it branches off into all wonderful, beautiful things. And just like the potentiality of being able to cook a fish in so many different ways steam it, fry it, poach it, what, you know, whatever you want to do with it, really grill it, bake it, whatever. Put all different herbs and spices and all that on there. So is that fish, that idea, that potential idea can manifest itself in all different millions of different ways in your potential future, down kind of different causal avenues, different causal chains, and also external circumstances coming in to press you down a certain causal chain. And then this idea branches off into all sorts of different brilliant futures and brilliant things that happen, experiences, ideas, beauty, passion, romance, whatever it may be. And then there's just this this, this beautiful playing of life, playing of energy that just goes... <laughs> And then it's just like, and then it's just all, we're all in this fantastic, beautiful ball of energy that's just exploded and become collective in nature. And then suddenly it, it, it collapses in on itself, 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 until it becomes a singularity. And then there's all this densely packed energy that's just crushing and crushing and, 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 being and vibrating so so fast and heavily and, and then it goes and then it, it explodes out again explodes out explodes out explodes out explodes out explodes out explodes out and then we form off it all these tiny different things all these tiny little humans and animals and pigs and flies and fish and all sorts and dragonflies and velociraptors and Arche Archaeopteryx and God knows what else, you know, Coelophysis and, you know, all these cool, 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 you know, Dromosaurs or Dromiotosaurs or whatever they're called, I don't know, those weird dinosaurs that are from that clade of Dinosauria that's kind of, oh no, wait, Dinosaur is the German word for dinosaur. Dinosaurs, the clade of Dinosaurs that is, is, is you know, with those bipedal ones, you know, anyway, so... Yeah, you've got all this, and then it, it sprouts out again. And then what happens is it just all, all folds in on itself again and goes... And then it explodes again. And it's like... It's like this... It's like this... Um, not concertina. Yeah, maybe concertina. I don't know what it's called. Xylophone. No, not xylophone. What is the word? I forget the word. Oh, it was such a good word as well. But anyway, yeah. So the thing, concertina thing. I mean, it's and it's like this weird magical dance that has rhythms and vibrations and and weird notes and passions and 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 oh, just everything is woo. Right, yeah. So that's basically it. Anyway, um, what's the answer to the universe, life, and everything? Uh, Forty-two. Right. Anyway, so. I'm going to get the gel. Do -do 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 -do. Speaking of vibrating, what happened to that review? What review? Oh, God, what did I do? Did I not do a review? Why, who wants me to do a review? Oh, the vibrating review. Oh, okay. Oh, DB Resells is in. Hi there. Uh, ads, if you were to have a shed, how would it look? I do have a shed, but it doesn't look very good. Oh, God, that looks good. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's good, isn't it? Oh, God, you, you get so high when you go inside your mind like that. Just go inside your mind, right, for a minute. And just think. And, and, and imagine. And... Be with all the images and the, the the stuff in your mind, and it's like this magnet, magnificent, fabulous show of of courage and beauty and passion and animals and monsters and everything. It, it's the most beautiful thing. We don't have the normal gel anymore because it's in my uni stuff. So, because now I've got three weeks left. Well, no, about four. Well, three to four weeks. Um, so. Yeah, it's now in my uniform.
uh, uniform. It's now in my uni stuff. I, I was nearly right with the words. I just uh, got them slightly wrong. Right then, let's have a look. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's so good. Oh, look at that. Look at that on that side, it fate oh that's that annoys me now. So we can't have that at uni uni. Cause I've gotta look my best. I've gotta look my best for people. You know, getting that social persona action. Can't help it, can you? Right then. Can you explain what clotted cream is? We don't have it here. Clotted cream is someone else will, someone else might have to take this one because I actually don't know what it is. It's it, it's cream. And it's probably been clotted. <laughs> it's probably been clotted. Um, right, so it's cream. And imagine, and I don't know what I'm saying here, by the way. Imagine you got cream, right? And obviously the way you get cream is, as we all know from the Willy Wonka movie, by whipping cows and then you get whipped cream. Right? <laughs> I love that joke. That's such a great joke in that movie. Anyway, so you get whipped cream like that. And then you put that into a bowl and you, you, you just mix it, and 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 just mix it, and mix it, and mix it, until it just goes, like, really, you know, firm and luscious and lovely. And then, basically, you're just like, you know, going round, 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 round. And then you get this lovely consistency and this beautiful, like, richness of the cream, and it's really thick and beautiful and lovely. And it, it's very, very high in cholesterol. So my mum used to always say to me, Adam, only ever have whipped cream. I mean, not whipped cream. Adam, you can have whipped cream as much as, as you want. <laughs> no, I was going to make a bloody joke there, but it's, yeah, no, no. Don't make a sex joke in the same sentence as talking about your mother. It's just weird. Right, so, um, yeah, but you can have as much whipped cream as you want, but only have clotted cream um, once every year. That's what she used to say. You're only allowed clotted cream once every year. Um, and uh, my grandma has it, well, she used to have it quite a lot, and it's very, very high in cholesterol. Um, I, I, no doubt my mum is overcompensating, and you're, you're, more, you're more than welcome to have it more than once a year, but yeah, she's, she is probably overcompensating. Um, it is, as people are saying in the chat, it is a spoon job. Spoon it on your, well, or I suppose you could do a, a knife with it. Knife it on your spoon. I mean, <laughs> knife it on your spoon. Knife it on your scone or your scone or whatever. Is it posh to say scone or scone? I mean, it's posh to say scone. So I'm going to say scone because I'm not very posh. So uh, whack it on your scone. Bit of jam on. Actually, no, jam goes on first for me. Jam on first. Do, 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 do. Lovely bit of raspberry or strawberry. No one wants anything else. Raspberry or strawberry. Whack your cream on. Do, 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 do. Whack your top on. Whack your top on, whack your top on, twist it round, whack it down, and then go hum like that. Or what you can do is you can have it on both, so you can go zip like that, put your jam on both, and then put your cream on both, and have them like that. Uh, that's normally what I do, actually. I don't normally have it like a sandwich, although I used to. I did used to have it as a sandwich. I've not had a scone, 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 scone. I've not had one of them for a long time. Um, so I'm probably due a scone or a scone or whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, very, very lovely. Um, it's just very, very fattening. It's not very good for you. Uh, ads does a lot of whacking. Yeah, I do, I do quite a lot of whack. Yeah, got it. Whack your cream on and get your jam on. Yeah, whack it on, you know, whack it on. Well, I've got to do my hands because they're all sticky and horrible and they're all sticky and stuff. Ooh. Do -do 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 -do. Right, what's the time? What's the time now, Hey. Right, I'll only be 10 minutes, so now. That'll only be 10 minutes. Right, got it. Whack your creamer. Right, so if you've got any final questions, anything you want to uh, check, then uh, put them in the chat. I'll be going very, very soon. Um, sticky from the whacking and cream. Well, maybe. Um, oh, uh, Tommy's in. Hi there, Tommy. See, ads, have you ever thought that a disability is just to the level to level the playing field. Imagine if you didn't have a disability with your hair and bone structure. It'd be crazy uh, unfair for all of us. Well, let's talk about this a little bit. Let's get a little bit um, 
deep and personal about my disability. Right, so, I might have told you this before, but, wait, I'm trying to do a live stream here. He goes downstairs now. Right, okay. So, um, yeah, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh, see, you've made me forget now. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so deep and personal. So, I might have told you this before, um, but essentially, one day, I was around my friends, right, and uh, obviously, I've mentioned before, he's a doctor, if you don't know. I'm sure everyone knows by now. I talk about it often enough, because I'm very proud that he's a doctor, and uh, I, I hope that he becomes some sort of cool surgeon, like a neurosurgeon or something, but he's not specialised yet. So, anyway, but that's beside the point. If he's a GP, brilliant. But, you know, I just want, you know, you always want the best for your friends, don't you? You want them to get up there and, and really good in the fields and all that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, so that's beside the point. So anyway, so he's a doctor and uh, he talked to me and he was say, said to me once, have you ever considered, because we're talking about anxiety and neuroticism and all that sort of stuff, have you ever considered how your physical weakness is a manifestation, a physical manifestation of a weakness in the brain? And of course... Obviously, I had a bleed on the brain at, at birth, which then gave me cerebral, pal cerebral palsy. I would say cerebral. I suppose you can say it in that way. Cerebral palsy. Uh, hemiplegic spastic cerebral palsy. As everyone watching this will be aware, so I won't divulge. But, you know, uh, it gave me that. And I thought to myself, blooming hell, isn't that weird? So, potentially, my... And, I mean, I've, I've thought for a while, actually, how my uh, higher levels of neuroticism may very well be genetic in origin, but I don't know, because I'm not a doctor or anything, what the relationship between that bleed on the brain would be and higher levels of neuroticism. That, I mean, you don't need to be a doctor, you could be a psychologist, but I think that bleed on the brain potentially may have, have given me higher levels of neuroticism. So along with the physical disability, I've also got a higher level of neuroticism in the brain physiologically speaking or neurologically speaking and because of that I have a, a, a propensity towards anxiety and depression and things like that while also having a physical manifestation of that weakness in the brain and and that's well it's taken me a long time and I still think I'm getting there to fully accept that and fully integrate that within myself. Because if you think too much about that, you start to think, well, am I always going to have that? Am I always going to be more neurotic? And I think the answer is, in part or in certain ways, yes. But in other ways, I can adapt, I can change, I can grow, and I can move past that. Now, I think it's a good thing to know your limits, but I think it's a bad thing to let your limits define you. So therefore, um, I may know that I have some sort of physiological limit, some sort of propensity, as I say, to neuroticism or depression. Uh, you know, anxiety or depression, I should say, which are in kind of neuroticism. Um, but I don't think that I should let that define me and I think that I should um and I think well I think that I do actually over over a number of months of course I think that I have slowly accepted that and then been able to overcome it to a degree and I also think that um moving forward if I take the right actions and and bear in mind that it has to be that if I take the right actions I can progress even more and so therefore I could lower my neuroticism naturally while also still having a little bit of a propensity neurologically to that trait. But because of the actions I take in uh, life and because of potentially things like neuroplasticity, although I don't know quite the, the link between neuroplasticity and the um, increase or de uh, decrease in the default traits, the big five traits, um, although I would imagine it may have an impact. Um, but through neuroplasticity, I can actually lower that trait of neuroticism and end up living a, a healthier, uh, ra more rounded, less neurotic, more free, more psychologically whole life. And uh, and so, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Um, but 
I always one the one thing that gets me is not the disability, not the physical disability. It's my mental state with it. That that's what gets me. It's not the not the disability. I'm projecting upon the disability. I'm saying I'm saying to you, you know, I, I have done in the past, I'm saying to it, I don't like you, that physical weakness. But it's not that. What I should be saying to myself is, hang on, look at what you're doing here. You are psychologically projecting onto your physiology the fact that you don't like your disability. And in fact, the problem is mental in origin, not physical. How do we know this or how, do we, how could we verify this? Think about the Paralympics, right? A lot of those people have way more severe disabilities than I do. But look at what they can do. A lot of those Paralympians would best any uh, non-disabled person, who, you know, just an average Joe on the street or whatever, they would best any of them in their chosen sport, right? Um, and so they, they have fully overcome this idea of uh, it being a physiological thing. It is a physiological thing, but they've overcome that kind of psychological projection, that kind of weakness that you can get from thinking, oh, you know, why do I have this disability? Why is this happened the way it has for me? They've overcome that and they, they don't feel that weakness in a psychological sense and they do what they're going to do. And bloody hell, they are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, to think, right, to think that people are out there, right, who have got limbs, they've not got certain limbs, and they have got gold medals in these sports and done fantastically well. Can you imagine, just imagine for a second, really think about this, how much bravery, courage, tenacity they have to do that. I mean, it's mind-boggling to think. And if you were, I don't know, maybe some of you are disabled, maybe not, but if you're able to put yourself into the mind of a disabled person for a day, if you weren't disabled, you would probably even realise even further how crazy it is for them to be able to do that. And, and to get to that level. Um, and uh, it's just amazing how people can overcome these things, how far they can go, how, how high they can, they can fly just by taking a positive outlook, believing in themselves, and, and doing these things, and, and being incredible, and just being a, an individualized expression of themselves, of nature, of the world, whatever, you know, and, um, and and that's what it's about. I think that, that is key, that is all it's about, is overcoming this idea of uh, the things that you're projecting onto that essentially you feel are physical barriers but are actually mental, recognising them, stopping projecting, withdrawing the projections and moving forward um, and, and becoming who you are in life. That is fundamentally what it is. You don't need any sort of incredible level of psychology or philosophy or anything to understand that. You don't need to, to know about what psychological projection is, even to a certain degree. I'm just using that word, but obviously, um, from, a, from a kind of practical standpoint, you can recognise that without, without understanding the conceptual label that is put on it. Um, but, you know, still, you know, it's, it's incredible and that's what it's about. And if people can do that, if everyone can do that, well, well there we go. We, we've, we've got to a society that is self-actualized, that's individuated, that is um, essentially the, almost the utopian idea, although maybe not quite utopian because obviously people will still be uh, in conflict with one another because their interests will misalign because obviously people are all individuated at the level of being uh, different different people and so people are still going to have conflicts and really the idea of a utopian society is very very questionable anyway as most people are aware um, and 
as soon as you get to some sort of utopian society, chaos is going to start to come up anyway, and then it's going to fall back down. So really, you don't want a utopian society. What you want is something close to a utopian society, but never actually getting there. Something like approaching it, but it's not ever there, because the moment you get there, you're, you're just going to go back down again. Uh, it's like the stocks and shares, right? So on the market, goes up, goes up, goes up. What you don't want to see is this like real chart like this, because you know it's going to go down again. It's the same with utopian society. If you go up like that, up like that, up like that, to a point that's kind of really, 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 really high, you're not going to be able to go up anymore, and you're just going to crash back down. Um, society won't take it. There'll be there'll be tension building. I think these things happen between individuals, between societies, between cultures, even in that kind of utopian society that is simply a dream. Um, and, and so the thing is, it's good to have that as a goal. Very good to have that as a goal, but what everyone needs to recognise is that we can never get there, but we can try to get as close to it as possible because getting as close to it as possible will be the best we're going to get, and therefore it's always good to, to get to that point, essentially. Anyway, I digress, so uh, let me go down. Uh, well, I'd say to teachers, teachers, teachers. I'm not. I'm not a bloody teacher. God, could you imagine me as a teacher? I'd be terrible. I always say I'd be bloody. I'd be crazy at it. I'd always say the wrong thing, and then the students would go, "Oh God, you taught me this, and you're not meant to teach me this because our professor, our other professor, said that you teach us things that." isn't on the syllabus and that we shouldn't be learning because we're not allowed to think independently or anything. <laughs> anyway, I, I digress again. So, uh, I'm going to go in a second. So, thank you everyone for joining me. Uh, joining me. Uh, I've always done it backwards, damn it. I get my jam on first, then cream on top. Well, no, no, that's what I do. I get jam on first, then cream on top. Yeah, jam on first and then cream put on top, yeah. Um... Uh, you have the most beautiful mind I have had. Oh, that's so not. Oh, don't. You're going to get me crying now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, God, I get so emotional. Right, okay. Okay, sorry. It's my extroverted feeling function. When you don't repress your extroverted feeling function, it just gets overbearing and it's like, oh, God, I want to cry. Anyway, right, so, um, yeah. Never, never be a personality type with an overextended uh, extroverted feeling function. You will regret it because it means you're just always feeling about things and it's like, oh God. You know, there's a little ant going across the desk and you're like, oh God, oh God, yeah, no, that's an ant's okay. And then it's just about getting to some little bit of sugar and you're like, I just moved that sugar a little bit closer. Although saying that, I've killed my fair share of ants. So, I'll, you know, anyway. Yeah, when you're young, you do weird things, don't you? Ants, flies. Yeah, it's weird. Anyway, so I'll leave it at that. So I will see you very soon. Uh, I'll see you next week. I think we're going to be on next week at uh, Check Me Invisible Watch, 6.45. So we'll be at 6.45 next week. Uh, I doubt there'll be a video um, before then because, as I say, just loads of things going on, crazy things going on, weird, wonderful, wacky, all that sort of stuff. Um, and, yeah, I will see you very soon. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you very soon. Boom. Now, what?